Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Uh, welcome to our install guide. Uh, in this guide, we've made it simpler than it has been in the past. There's a couple steps, but they're not hard. So stay with me and you'll be using your tablet like a pro very shortly. We're gonna go to the Microsoft Store and we're gonna type Tablet Pro and we're gonna install both of these apps. Just click on these and choose the install option. When they are installed, you can go over here to the start menu and find it under T for Tablet Pro, uh, or you can click on here where it says Tablet Pro and we're gonna open this up. Click on purchase. Here you can see the different options for purchasing Tablet Pro. We've made the full package uh, a very easy one to choose. So go ahead and purchase whichever one of these suits your needs best. And thank you for purchasing. It helps us with development and it helps provide for Takashi's family and for my family. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. The next step here is we're going to go to the website. You can see here the tabletpro.com slash hashtag install. Uh, if you are on this page at the very top, tabletpro.com, you can click here on our Tablet Pro icon and it will bring you down to the install section down here. You're going to click on download. And this is a little tiny bullet point guide right here for you. It's all the store app, desktop app, and pen tool. So we're going to download the desktop program and run it. We've moved all of our automation into the pen tool so it's in one place, not two. Now with that said, click standard, next, I agree, next. And then when we're done here, it's going to ask us about our license that we purchased in the Tablet Pro store app. All right, so congratulations, you've installed Tablet Pro. Would you like to check? We're gonna say yes. It's gonna look over here and it's gonna see that we have already purchased. It's gonna say thank you. Again, thank you. And we're gonna close that. You'll see right here, it says all features activated. This will reflect whatever we purchased in the store app. We have one last step. And for those of you who haven't run Tablet Pro before, you right click here to choose the mode. This is the Tablet Pro mouse icon right here. You right click that and you choose your mode. Uh, you load your layouts or your presets by choosing layout, load preset, and you edit by choosing edit. Watch our follow-up guide on uh, working in the layout editor to learn more on how to customize your own presets. Uh, we are going to run the pen tool. I'm gonna go here to the start menu and we're gonna go down to pen tool. I have mine here on the side. We're gonna choose pen tool. Now the first time that this runs, it's going to start with, right here, the welcome guide. Right here, you're gonna choose whatever stylus you have, the one button default stylus from Microsoft. The one that I recommend uh, after doing years of reviews is the R520. I saw this one on my store, and they now have one that has a Bluetooth button on the end as well, or uh, something like the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus that has um, two buttons and the Bluetooth. Uh, like the new Renacer stylus. Uh, all of these, you can click on these links down here to purchase these if you don't have one yet. We're gonna select the bamboo ink. Now, if you tap on the screen with the pen, it'll tell you what type of input, and you need to read this. Uh, this will tell you uh, how the buttons work. Okay, next. So this is the most important setting right now. So make sure that you pay attention to this one part. If you want Tablet Pro to automatically switch when you're opening different programs, like a specific one for uh, Affinity Designer, or Clip Studio, or Sai, or Blender, or ZBrush, any of those different ones, if you want it to automatically switch, you need to check this box. Load custom Tablet Pro settings. If you're using um, the same settings as me, if you want it to look prettier, then click on this setting. If you're currently using Tablet Pro, this will replace your settings. So you may want to save that first. You just click here, settings. Uh, you're going to go to the general tab right here backup universal settings to file right here, and then you can restore it right there or load it. If you're using a low resolution screen, 1080p or lower, check this box and it'll make the font and a couple other things fit a little better for you. Okay, so we're going, going to go ahead and click next. This is where this will be in the hidden task tray. That means right down here. And I dragged mine down here so that it's easier to see. So here you can see it's switching. We're gonna go to Clip Studio. It's got the Clip Studio preset, and let's switch over to Affinity Designer. You can see it's automatically switching these for us, which is what I like. I like that a lot. 
All right, you guys, that's it for the install guide. I have uh, more information for you at tabletpro.com slash academy. So check that out. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information and tutorials on using Tablet Pro to make your tablet use better and faster and more enjoyable. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.